Well, that was an utter disappointment today. I mean, yeah, the Florida Gators won the game. They beat the Voltards uh, 31 to 19. So why don't I feel deflated by that victory? Why do I feel like it was a disappointment? This is a this was a team that we beaten now 15 of the last 16 years. This is a team with quarterback issues. This is a team that is undercoached or poorly coached, I should say. Uh, th- th- this was a team that we played that that had no hope. I mean, the, 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 what they only won two games all year, and we roll in there with one of the hottest offenses in 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 the country, and we only put up thirty one points on that team. And, and, and for a good chunk of the first half, it looked like it was going to be close. I mean, yeah, we managed to go in halftime seven, up 17-7. to seven, But we only scored, you know, uh, you know a couple more touchdowns to, uh, to finish the game. I mean, look at the box score. Scored three points in the first quarter. whoop the fucking do Managed to get two touchdowns in the second quarter, one in the third, one in the fourth quarter. And we let Tennessee score two touchdowns in garbage time, their seconds against our defense. Defense. Ha ha! Defense. That defense couldn't stop a nosebleed. That, that, that was dis- despicable. It was horrible. This 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 team, Florida, I'm talking about. Yeah, uh, seven. What eight and one now? Eight and one. Only lost to Texas A&M. We clinched the Eastern Division of the SEC. Congratulations to my Florida Gators. Congratulations to Coach Mullen and your staff and the team for clinching uh, the first SEC East Division um, title quote-unquote title, since, what, 2016? So five years. Um, so that's that's good. I mean, I'm, I'm happy about that. Uh, good effort, you know, certainly a fantastic result, uh, which is going to mean absolutely nothing when we get to the SEC title game on December 19th. This, I'm recording this on December 5th. So two weeks from now, we're going to meet most, uh, almost certainly it's Alabama. And they're going to run up and down the field on us and, and skull drag us. Uh, just like they did the last two times they, they faced us. Last two times we faced them, uh, we couldn't do anything because we had no offense. We had great defense. But they got burned out by the middle of the third quarter because the offense couldn't hold the ball for more than 20 seconds. So this time around, it's going to be we have an offense that can put up points like nobody's business or the used to. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, but we have a defense that can't do a thing. I mean, we let Tennessee's second string quarterback and probably a good chunk of their second string offense, maybe, I'm not sure. I don't know their roster very well, but, you know, we, we let their second string quarterback put two touchdowns on, on us in the fourth quarter. Where's the killer instinct? Where is the put the foot on the throat and press down hard? Where is that killer instinct? It doesn't exist anymore. We haven't put 40 points up in forever, it seems. Yeah, Kyle Trask, uh, let's see. Well, let's look at the numbers. See, uh, Let's see. Uh, Trask was 35 for 49, 433 yards, four touchdowns, no interceptions. Um, but we can't run the ball. What do we have for running today? <laughs> 19 yards. 19. 
19 yards. Hell, we only had one yard rushing at the end of the first half. So we can't run the ball. Our coaching staff has lost the killer instinct that they had in the first part of the year. Uh, our quarterback is still playing lights out. I, I mean, if he is, if there's anybody out there that believes that Kyle Trask isn't the, the leading contender for the Heisman Trophy, you're blind or you're football stupid. Probably both. We had 24 first downs. We actually had less first downs than the Voltards. They had 25. Uh, 6 for 13 on third down. 0 for 1 on fourth down. 452 total yards versus 334 total yards for uh, Tennessee. They managed to throw 240 yards passing, 94 yards rushing on our Swiss cheese defense. Somehow we got six sacks. Now I watched that game. It didn't feel like we, that, that, uh, that our team sacked the quarterback six times. It really didn't feel that way. Uh, punted the ball four times versus seven for Tennessee. Uh, eight penalties for 85 yards versus five penalties for 40 yards for Tennessee. So not only do have we lost our killer instinct, but we play sloppy. And our defense still can't can't uh, can't do anything uh, worth uh, worth uh, any. It's just it, it it's a horror show. And let's see. Oh, now I see why we had only nineteen yards of rushing. Uh, Kyle Trask had negative ten yards, probably because of the sacks. Uh, our best rusher was. Copeland with 17 yards. One run for 17 yards. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Kyle Pitts had a good day, but no touchdowns. Interestingly enough. <sighs> this team is not going to beat Alabama. This team is not going to, to go into Atlanta and beat Alabama. Nobody's going to be Texas A&M, so we're going to fall further behind Texas A&M. They're going to end up in the Sugar Bowl. We're going to end up in the Orange Bowl. All because one running back couldn't hold on to the ball in the last part of the game where we were driving the score and beat Texas A&M. And ever since that game, the Aggie fans have been crowing about how uh, allegedly good their team is. Your team isn't very good. You just have an easy schedule, and you got lucky when you beat Florida because Florida was beating you. Conversely, Florida shouldn't be crawling about anything because they have a defense that, that, that's, that's weaker than 1% than beer. Uh, I'd be surprised if the Florida defense could stop a high school football team at this point. They are hopeless. Hashtag fire Grantham ad infinitum. The man doesn't deserve to be on the field coaching. He is not a coach. He is a fat piece of dreck. That's poop in Yiddish. He is a fat piece of dreck that doesn't know what he's doing and he proves it every single week. And he's going to get his ass handed to him finally against Alabama when uh, when uh, Satan un unleashes hell upon our defense in the form of the Alabama offense. So this is this is not a good. I'm not looking forward to December 9th. Hell, I'm not looking forward to December 12th when we play LSU in our in our makeup game. We did it. We did lose that one game. Uh, back in November because of the COVID. We're making it up uh, in Gainesville on the 12th. I don't know what time it is or anything like that. I'm not looking forward to that game. And LSU has more problems than Tennessee does. And they'll be coming off of what is most likely to be a spectacular beatdown today by the number one Alabama Crimson Tide. And I'm not looking forward to playing LSU. 
even though it's in the swamp, because it's going to be more of the same. And then in a week after that, we have to travel up to Atlanta on national TV and get humiliated by Alabama once again because we can't play defense. And now, for some reason, past three or four weeks, Dan Mullen uh, has lost the killer instinct, if he ever had it, and can't seem to be bothered to keep running the ball and passing the ball and getting touchdowns and putting points on the board. Hey, Dan, look, look, look at me right here. Look, 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 at, look, I'm talking to you, Dan. You can't rely on your defense and go soft on your offense because you got no fucking defense. You have to play with the intent of outscoring your own defense. Every possession has to be points. Because you just let Tennessee score 19 points on you and you barely got to 31. That's not good, Dan. That's not nearly good enough. And you're going to get beaten up and left for dead in Atlanta in two weeks. I don't know about the rest of Gator Nation. I'm sure the Glitter Gators, the ones who, for them, everything is sunshine and unicorn farts. I'm sure the Glitter Gators out there on Gator Nation, on Facebook, and elsewhere that I've dealt with are happy as hell that we just beat Tennessee again. Yeah, I'm happy we beat Tennessee too. But you can't see the forest through the trees. You can't see the problems because you refuse to see the problems. This team has problems and they're not, they haven't been addressed all year. And come December 19th, as Jeremiah Wright said all those years ago, the chickens have come home to roost. And the chickens have come home to roost are in the form of Alabama beating the absolute crap out of our sieve-like defense. And I'm sorry if that upsets you Florida fans, my fellow members of Gator Nation, but truth is truth. We have a chance. We have a great offense. We have a chance. That's why we go on the field and play the game. But if that defense that I saw today shows up in Atlanta, it's going to be a long, ugly evening. And that's all I got to say. But still, a win is a win. So, go Gators. Screw you haters. Peace.